Olga, I think we need to make a treehouse. A big one that we can all stay in together. Yeah, yeah. I'd love it if it were a nice big house with a kitchen and everything. What do you mean a kitchen? We're not going to cook in it. We're going to play. I know we're not going to cook, but it would be nice. Hello, little frog. Why are you crying? Ever since I was little, I've never known how to swim, and I don't dare go in the water. I could drown. How do you know you don't know how to swim if you never tried? You have to try at least once. That way you'll know whether you can swim or not. Come on, be brave and jump in the water. We'll be here to help you. If something happens, we'll grab you right away. Come on, you can do it. We're here for you if you need us. <laughs> little frog, little frog, don't leave. We want to help you. Poor little frog. He was so scared that he didn't even try. Let's go ask the guys if they've seen him. Good morning, Good morning everyone. everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Have you seen a frog jumping anywhere around here? What do you mean a frog? There are no frogs here. All the frogs are in the lake. They're swimming. No, I haven't seen a thing. Hmm. Mm -mm. We saw a frog a moment ago that was really sad because it didn't know how to swim and was afraid that his friends wouldn't help him. We told him that we were going to help him, but he was really sad and jumped away. How can that be? All frogs know how to swim. How can that be? All frogs know how to swim. What are you, a parrot? I'm not a little parrot. I'm a cow. Talalo is a parrot. Talalo, Talalo, wake up. Talalo. Talalo, are you a cow? I already knew that. You are a parrot, aren't you? Well, if nobody's seen a little frog around here, we've got to keep looking for him. <laughs> Ribbit. <laughs> Hello, little frog. <laughs> little frog, I know of a way for you to learn how to swim. All right, see that puddle? It's so small, so small that it's impossible to drown in it because it's not deep at all. You have to jump in and you'll see that nothing will happen to you. Come jump with me into the puddle. As you can see, it's not very deep. The water only comes up to my knees. Now you gotta copy what I do. Swim, swim. Swim, swim, swim. Swim and swim, swim. You see, it wasn't that hard. Now you've just got to do the same thing in the big lake. Job. We make an awesome team. All right, high five. 
Milo, what happened to the frog you were looking for? It was awesome! We saw the frog hiding by the lake because it was afraid to swim. But then we taught him how. And he learned so fast that he jumped from the puddle right into the lake. And what did you all do? Just hanging out with this little parrot who won't quit repeating everything I say. Hey, who won't quit repeating everything you say? You're doing it again, little parrot. Do you really think I'm a parrot? I thought you knew I was a cow. Moo. Good morning, Caterpillar. Good morning, little Caterpillar. Maybe the Caterpillar doesn't understand me, but I don't speak Caterpillar language. Maybe if I talk more slowly, he may be able to understand me. Hmm. Dear Mr. Caterpillar, I'm not sure if you understand me or not, but I'd like to wish you a good morning since it's such a beautiful day and I'm so happy. And when I'm really happy, I like to wish my friends a good morning. Today is not a very good day. Why isn't it such a good day? I thought if I was having a good day, everyone else would be too. All my life I wanted to see the world and visit many places. But I'm just a simple caterpillar, and I won't have the chance to see a single thing. No oceans, no forests, no volcanoes. <gasps> I've got the solution to your problem. You just have to move a little faster. And I don't mean a little faster, but a lot faster. Look at the way I move. If I go slow like you, I go very slow. But if I go very fast, I'm here now. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. And now I'm here. Now I'm here. And now I'm here. And now I'm here. Milo. I think we better go see what's wrong with Moo Moo. I wonder what's gotten into her. What's wrong, Moo Moo? There's nothing wrong with me. Our friend, Mr. Caterpillar, is sad because he wants to travel, but the poor thing is so slow. He never gets anywhere. So I was... Just telling him that if he moved fast, really fast, he'd get to more places. <sighs> but Moo Moo, you don't realize that you move really quickly because you're a fast cow. But Mr. Caterpillar could never move as fast as you. He's very little and doesn't have fat feet like you do. Hey, my feet are not fat. Mr. Caterpillar, don't be sad. I promise that in a few days, you'll be able to go as fast and as far as you want. But how would that be possible? Have you ever heard of metamorphosis? No. Well, it's something magnificent that's about to happen to you. Soon, you'll no longer be a simple caterpillar and will transform into the most beautiful and elegant butterfly of the valley. Mm, a butterfly? There comes a time when all caterpillars transform into precious butterflies, and then they can fly wherever they want. So when will I transform into a butterfly? The first thing you need to do is to spin a cocoon and then go to sleep in it. When you wake up, you'll already be a butterfly. Hmm. Thank you, my friends. You've made me very happy. Moo Moo, don't be impatient. It may take days before Mr. Caterpillar becomes a butterfly. I'll stay. As you wish. 
See you Goodbye. later. He's coming out! He's coming out! Everyone, look! He's coming out! Come on, Mr. Caterpillar! You can do it! Come on! He's no longer Mr. Caterpillar. Now he's Mr. Butterfly. Same difference. What's important is that he's been transformed into something beautiful. Yeah! I want to be a butterfly like him, so handsome and beautiful. And me too! You're so pretty! Fly, fly butterfly, butterfly, fly, fly away. away! Fly, butterfly, fly wherever you want to go. Now nothing can prevent you from going anywhere you want. You can fly as freely as the wind. Strange noises. I'm a little scared of monsters. I know they don't exist, but I'm still kind of scared. Well, I'm not afraid of anything, much less monsters, since we all know they don't exist. But I've seen some really strange things and heard some really strange noises that I have no idea how to explain. Just because you can't explain where the noises are coming from doesn't mean that they're hidden monsters. Well, maybe you're right. And all the noises I'm hearing are... <laughs> I'm sure that was just the wind. The wind doesn't make that kind of sound. It came from that bush there. Oh, don't be silly, Moo Moo. You'll see that it was nothing. I'm going to hit it with this stick so you'll see there's nothing there. Mm. Let's go, Rita. It's nothing. It's just a... Ah! Ah! Run, Moo Moo! There's a monstrous ah! monster! Ah! don't exist. There must be a logical explanation for this. There are no monsters. When we find out what it is, we'll have a good laugh. <gasps> Moo Moo, tell me exactly what happened. While well, Rita and I were walking peacefully along the dirt road, we were just minding our own business, talking about important matters. And all of a sudden, we heard a loud roar. First, we thought it was Rita's belly, but then, thanks to my intelligence, I deduced that there was a monster hidden in the bushes. Rita took a stick to battle against it. But then she screamed again, and we both ran away. We've got to go and investigate that noise. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? There's a monster. Don't go there. Yes, it's horrible. You can't just go. 
They've left us all alone. Uh, how about we go with no! them? No! There's a monster! Monsters hiding behind that bush. What do you think it could be? I already know it can't be a monster, but I'm still scared. Don't you worry. There must be a logical explanation. He's going to devour us all. Run! That sound is coming from some sort of huge beast. At the very least, it's a wild lion. A uh, lion? Lions like to eat giraffe meat. I don't want to be his snack. Bye-bye. Uh, uh, that lion's going to eat all of us. I think that we'd better get out of here right away before it's too late. Milo, we better go home because that lion could devour us in one bite. Yes, Olga, we better go. I'm not scared or anything, but I'd rather go home for a snack. Yes, yes, a snack sounds like a good idea. Mumu, Rita, we're going. Want to come? And so what are we going to do about the lion? We leave him here. We don't want to end up being his meal. Yeah, yeah, let's get out of here. No! no! Talalo, oh, don't do it. If you mess with the lion, don't he's going to take revenge on oh. us. <laughs> Us. I knew it couldn't be a monster, because monsters don't really exist. So then, Alfred is a lion? <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone staring at me? Can't anyone sleep in peace around here? Sleep? Yes. But you were snoring like a wild animal. We thought you were a lion. Excuse me, but Sir Alfred doesn't snore. He breathes with style. Excuse me, but Sir Alfred doesn't snore. He roars. Rawr! So then, Rita is also a lion? <laughs> <laughs> we all got a bit scared. I knew it couldn't be a monster because they don't exist. But I still got scared. And I was also scared, but just a little bit. Well, I wasn't scared at all. I knew right away it was Alfred snoring. You're a bunch of scaredy cats. Ah! A lion! 